Hi, I'm Dave Keith from New Designs Web Marketing. I'm one of the Drupal trainers here at New Designs. My role is to teach our clients how to use and edit their Drupal website. This video series is based on Drupal version 7, currently the latest release, as well as a custom installation of add-on Drupal modules here at New Designs. Your own Drupal website may be slightly different, but the concepts are likely the same. So, let's get started. It's important to know about copying and pasting into your Drupal website. Copying and pasting is very common. Uh, usually when you're creating new web pages, you might have content written in Microsoft Word or written on another website that uh, you've created and you want to move content over. Um, I want to talk to you about the differences and, and the proper way of how to copy and paste into a Drupal website. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some content and I'm just grabbing it off of another website here. So. Uh, Got some content. I didn't get it right there. Got some content, and I am going to first uh, copy and paste it directly into another website. So here is my Drupal sample site that I'm looking at, and I'm going to come up to uh, content, add content, and a new. I will create a new page. So here's the page, and I'm just going to name this page website. Did I spell it right? Copy and I'm in the body region and I'm going to paste in and I get this this warning security warning um, which is normal and I'm gonna repaste it I'm gonna paste in the copy from that other website this is a common mistake that, that some of the site editors that we have do when they first get their website and they're copying and pasting some content and you can see here that you know there's a background color to it there shouldn't be um, what what had happened is the all of the styling from the other website basically got copied into this web page and that's not a good thing to do because this web page is now calling out uh, potentially calling out different margins different classes different fonts different colors you name it and it, what you try and have is a consistent look and all of that styling is done at the theme level in Drupal and your web page really should just have for the most part normal text and just basic formatting within the editor and so I can disable this rich text editor again and I can look at this um, really junky HTML that's called out on this page if that's a word okay I want to compare this though to another web page and uh, that we can create so I'm gonna go up here to content add content basic page and I'm using a Mac and I'm gonna copy and paste from another application called text edit text edit copy so I have text edit open up over here and um, right, right here and here's an untitled document I'm gonna paste into text editor and you can see it comes in a lot the same but in text edit I can uh, I can go to format and make it into plain text and we really want to copy and paste plain text. So here it is, it's just plain text. It took out any of the formatting of the text and I can copy that, just you know, control C, and I can come into the new page that I have created and I can paste that. Okay, and now you can see that the, the text is a lot less formatted, um, but I still can look at the HTML and I yet have, I still have a problem, and that is that there is still some unwanted HTML that has come in. These are divs, and we really don't want those um, as well. Um, so to get rid of those, you're still going to want to do your formatting within the page itself. And I, I would start with that by coming up here and just deleting. And I can do it right here within the editor and delete. And I, if I wanted to start editing this, I could then this and whatever I wanted to do um, but this isn't really the point of it it's it's showing you copying and pasting from another website copying and pasting uh, examples in, from text edit another one that's very common is from Microsoft Word so let's let's do that I'm gonna go back to the original source I'm gonna copy this content I'm gonna 
grab a Word document and I'm going to paste that in there. And from here, I'm going to copy it out of the Word document now. So I just copied it. And let's uh, create another page within this website. Let's create a, uh, uh, we'll create another basic page. I'll open that in a new tab so we can see. Um, so here it is, and this one I'm going to call it uh, from Word, Microsoft Word, copy. And let me paste that in. I'm going to do it this way. And it comes in. And notice here, I, I still have um, this is bold, but what I like uh, from a this is Word for the Mac is the HTML it is very clean. It came in as a separate paragraph. It's bold. Um, there still is some formatting that I'm going to want to do in this case, um, but it, it, it's a lot less. I guess the, the point of this video is to talk about copying and pasting from outside sources and making sure that no matter what, you go and you disable the rich text editor and just look at it. And even if you don't know HTML, you don't have to have a, a you know, strong background or know much about it, but um, be able to identify when something odd has come into the, uh, into the paste and just check it out. And uh, if you have any additional questions, you can contact us here at New Designs. Um, so I appreciate your time on this video. Thank you.